There was another side um, to what's happened uh, in the sector that sits alongside this problem of the nature of the vet fee help debts, and I want to um, cover that in the remaining time I have to me. Uh, and that is that not only did we have the vet fee help blowout, debacle, and failure to respond by the government playing out, at the very same time we had a government that at every budget and um, MIEFO mid-year budget uh, adjustments, every single time they cut funding out of programs in the vocational education and training sector. So there were cuts um, that now tally about three billion dollars under this government's watch to the sector. And that meant that the opportunity to go to a reliable, trusted provider, some of them are some of the good quality private providers out there, but most significantly the public provider, our TAFEs, TAFE where people know that what they're being provided is a quality product and a reliable provider, have been absolutely decimated under this government's watch. And those opposite get up and talk about how much they value um, the, the career opportunities and lifetime um, employment that comes out of vocational education and training would do this nation a service by telling that to their succession of ministers and treasurers because we have seen no follow through with actual investment into the sector. Um, this, the Skilling Australia Fund, uh, which basically uh, looks to fund apprenticeships out of the money collected from people bringing people in under skilled um, migration programs is just a complete failure in addressing the massive decline we've seen in apprenticeships in this country. Over 140,000 fewer apprentices since they came to government at a time when we know that there is demand out there for many, many trainees and apprentices in relevant fields uh, and an opportunity particularly for our young people, a great career opportunity, but also for older Australians who might be looking to reskill and retrain uh, to undertake an adult apprenticeship. This is a really important pathway and they have completely failed to address the massive decline under their watch. In my state of New South Wales, the combination of this government and the state Liberal government is seeing TAFEs close. So we're not just losing courses. We're not just losing teachers um, and expertise, we're seeing TAFE campuses closed. In my area, um, the DAPTO TAFE campus, which sits in my colleague's seat, the member for Whitlam, right in the middle of a, a fairly disadvantaged community with high youth unemployment, they've shut the TAFE campus. It's just you know, an unbelievable combination of neglect at both the state and federal level. And uh, I've been critical of the state government, as have my Labor colleagues, uh, but they are, I have to acknowledge, also dealing with the fact that their federal colleagues have been sig significantly cutting the funding that the federal government provides to TAFE. As I said, $3 billion over the term of their government. And so you can't say that you're serious about valuing uh, apprenticeship and traineeships and TAFE and vocational training when all you're doing is slashing the funding that actually goes to provide those opportunities and you are seeing the outcome in a massive decline not only in TAFE and apprenticeships but in the numbers of people studying in the vocational education sector. And increasingly we are seeing reports about that drop in the number of people, uh, particularly in the higher levels of vocational training. This sector deserves better than lip service. It needs real action by government and real funding. Now, I'm very proud that um, Bill Shorten and the Labor team, before the last election, took a whole raft of um, policy initiatives to the election, including major Commonwealth projects, uh, projects being built with Commonwealth funding, requiring that one in ten of the employees on those projects are apprentices government leading by example, actually ensuring that that um, opportunity is provided, providing funding for transitioning for older workers who are being restructured through 
and an adult apprenticeship into new career paths, providing opportunities uh, and protection for our TAFE system and direct funding for our TAFEs. These policies continue on at the table from Labor now today, um, and I hope that um, we get the opportunity to implement them, because I am quite honestly very concerned that if we have another three years of those opposite in charge of the sector, it's going to be really, really difficult to rebuild after the decimation that we've already seen and how that will be compounded upon uh, by more neglect and more cuts. So I um, commend the amendment moved um, by our shadow minister because it is important to make the point in each and every one of these debates that those opposite have, despite lip service, completely failed to deliver in either direct injection of funding or direct support for TAFE, for apprenticeships and for traineeships. And our young people, our restructured workers, our communities are paying the price for that, and particularly those in rural and regional areas of Australia. Um, I have to say the National Party has a history of being great supporters of the TAFE system because I take it they understand in their local communities how important it is. Uh, and I hope they can make their voice loudly heard in their joint party room so their colleagues get on board because they need to be out there fighting for these air, uh, services in their communities too. And um, Perhaps it hasn't been loud enough yet, but maybe it'll get louder in fighting um, within their own joint party rooms for better funding. We need to back TAFE. We need to back TAFE our apprentices. We need to back uh, traineeships. We need to be doing that in real and meaningful ways. And that's got to be a commitment that uh, is debated at the next federal election. I know communities want it debated. We saw that in Victoria, how significant TAFE was as a, as a campaign issue in the Victorian election and the complete dismay that the Conservatives in Victoria had no policy in this space. Um, I look forward to having that debate at the federal election because I know it matters to our communities. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.